This is my finished commission painting, Bread and Butter. Now this, it's not varnished, but the colors are still pretty true. I'll varnish it later, but I gotta wait six months um, till after I painted it for you to safely allow varnish to go on top of it. But I've been noticing, so I painted this on panel and I've been noticing that my, when I paint on panel versus canvas, the colors don't sink in too bad. So even though it's not varnished, I feel like the colors are still fairly true to themselves. So I really like how this painting turned out. It was a fun collaborative process. Um, they asked for wine and garlic, and then I played around, did some different sketches, played around with different elements, adding the bread and butter, and then um, the flowers as well. I think when I got the flowers in there and created that arch going around it and having just this play of colors going across it, that really clicked in for me that it was going to be a really fun image to paint. Um, and then also when I was, um, I wanted the bread to sit on something, so I was shopping around, I think it was Crate and Barrel, and I saw that cloth napkin with the stripes in it, and I just wanted to paint that so badly. And it was really fun because um, all these different textures and elements in the painting allowed me to really play around with different ways of using paint. So for that cloth napkin, using really long, thin brush strokes, um, you know, compared to the butter, which I was using really thick br brush strokes, but also a palette knife as well, especially the palette knife to the, the brightest part of the butter, getting that to really stand out so a lot of light hits it, which would make it look bright, since that's probably the brightest thing in the painting. Um, and then a lot of different elements too, like I did a lot of glazing in the background, but not purely glazing. When I was first laying in the background, I laid it in fairly thickly, and then later on would glaze over the top, and so the glaze would then catch into those, the bristle marks and the brush strokes, so that would kind of give this really interesting texture if you look really close to it. That's one thing that I, that I think my paintings stand apart is that um, the more you look at it, the more closely you look at it, you can see different elements to how things were painted. Um, I think that's really fun to, not only to just look at, that's the point of why I do it, but it's also really fun to work that way and just to see how you can be playing and manipulating paint in different ways to get different textures and effects um, for the, the overall image from like when you're stepped far away from it it looks one way and then when you get really up like your nose right up to the painting you can see different elements that it'll look different in the corner to something in the foreground so i like to have all that variety <laughs> in it so this is really fun to work with doing a still life that is really colorful i hadn't really done something that is as bright and colorful with like the really strong pinks and oranges um, and blues. I had another still life that had a lot of strong reds in it, so that was when I was working on the red flowers and that I could draw from that, so I felt like I got those in nice and quick. And um, also quickness, playing around the variety with different speed of how I'm painting too. So the red flowers are laid in pretty simply, and um, then other things look a little bit more labored over, perhaps, like the, the top of the bread and the garlics, and I like that different um, <laughs> different elements are loosely painted and other elements more tightly painted just to give that just more variety across the whole piece. So I'm very, very happy with how this painting turned out. It was a really fun process, um, starting from the beginning all the way to the end. Um, it was fun, like a collaborative process with um, you know, having it being commissioned and like getting different sketches and having them choose and like having different objects and like moving them around and getting something that everyone's happy with. And I really like, I'm really proud of this painting and I'm really happy how it turned out. So um, you can see the process then at the end of this video where I have started with a charcoal drawing, just the basic lines and then getting it more, adding value to it and then having them approve it and saying like yeah this is the image that we want and then I start the painting process where um, I, I transfer the image onto 
the panel that I started working on and then just so slowly started laying in the the values and the colors and just working from general to specific all the way then to the end. And if you would like to commission me to work on a still life painting or a landscape or a portrait or any type of painting, let's talk about it. You can email me at jennifermariekeller at gmail.com. Mm -hmm.